the false shepherds of Israel love to give your flocks soft cushions to sit on? The reason that you do so is because you know that if you do not give them a comfortable place to sit, they will leave your flock. And if they leave your flock, then they will no longer be supporting you. Here is what my father's word says about your sowing the soft cushions that you have sown for your flocks to sit on and dubbing the walls of your whorehouses with untempered mortar. In Ezekiel chapter 13, Yahweh's word came to me saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets or prophesy against the false shepherds of Israel that prophesy and say to them that prophesy or teach out of their own intellect. In other words, teach their own thoughts that Satan led them to believe. Hear the word of Yahweh. Thus saith Adonai Yahweh, Woe to the prophets or the false shepherds that follow a vile spirit and see nothing. The prophets or the false shepherds of Israel are like the jackals in the places of desolation. They have not risen up the breaches, neither have they closed up the wall, so that the house of Israel will be able to stand in the battle in the day of Yahweh. They perceive vanity and divination and falsehood, and they say Yahweh has said it, but Yahweh has not sent them, and they hope to establish their own word. Have the false shepherds not perceived a vision of vanity, and have they not spoken a divination of lies, whereas they say, Yehweh has said it, albeit I have not spoken it? Therefore thus saith Adonai Yehweh, because they have spoken vanity and perceived lies, behold, I am against them, saith Adonai Yehweh, and my hand will be upon the prophets and the false shepherds that perceive vanity and that distribute lies, and they will not be in the assembly of my people, neither will they be written in the scroll of the house of Israel, neither will they enter into the land of Israel. And they will know that I am Adonai Yehweh. For this reason, because you false shepherds have led my people astray, saying, Peace, and there was no peace, and you built up a wall, and behold, it was dubbed with untempered mortar. It was dubbed with the false salvation doctrines that gave people a false security in their eternal status. Say to them which dubbed the wall with untempered mortar, it will fall, and there will be a gushing rain of hailstones, and it, and you who remain in it, will fall. The storms and the winds will break it down. Lo, when your wall has fallen, will it not be said to you, Where is the dubbing wherewith you have dubbed it? Therefore thus saith Adonai Yahweh, I will break down your wall. He says, I'm going, He's going to break down all of the false religions that are set up with lies and false prophets and false shepherds. He says, I'll break down your wall with storms and winds in my fury, and there will be a gushing rain of great hailstones to destroy it in my anger and in my fury. I will destroy the wall that you have dubbed with untempered mortar and bring it to the ground so that the foundation, referring to the sand that our Messiah spoke that your houses are built on if you are not doing his father's word, he said the foundation therefore will be discovered and it will fall and you will be consumed in the midst thereof and you will know that I am Yahweh. Thus I will consume the wall of your false religions in my fury and upon them that have dubbed it with untempered mortar and I will say to you, your false religion or your false worship is no more, neither you that dubbed it. The prophets of Israel which prophesy concerning Jerusalem and which see visions of peace for her, and there is no peace, saith Adonai Yahweh, you son of man, set your face against the daughters of your people, which prophesy from their intellect. In other words, again, your own thoughts and your opinions that you got from your father Satan. And prophesy against them, and say, Thus saith Adonai Yahweh, Woe to you who sow soft seats upon all of the knuckles of your hands and make veils upon the heights of your heads and lie in wait for souls and lie in wait for the souls of my people saying to them that they will live giving them false salvation hopes you defile me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread you teach your lies for to your flocks to line your pockets and you say to the souls that should not die and, and you excuse me you slay the souls that should not die and you give life to the souls that should not live by your lying to my people that hear your lies. Wherefore, thus saith Adonai Yahweh, Behold, I am against your soft cushions that you spread out to lie and wait for souls. I will tear them from your arms, and you will send away your souls, the souls that spread out to lie and wait to deceive others. I will tear your veils and deliver my people out of your hand, and they will no longer be in your hand to be snared by your nets, and you will know that I am Yahweh because your falsehood has grieved the righteous hearts whom I have not been grieved with, and you have given courage to the hands of the wicked, so that he would not turn from his wicked ways, by promising him life, giving him false salvation hopes. Therefore you will no longer distribute lie, div divinations, or nor perceive vanity. I will deliver my people out of your hand, and you will know that I am Yahweh. He is going to deliver a people out of the false shepherd's hands, but this people has to first come out, 
from your whorehouses and return to him. I'll read verse 11 again. He says, Say to them which dub the wall with untippered mortar, it will fall, and there will be a gushing rain of hailstones, and it and you who remain in it will fall, and the storms and the winds will break it down. He led me to add, and those of you who remain in the whorehouses, because this is what his word declares elsewhere. The revelations of our Messiah that he gave to the Apostle John says in Revelations 18.4, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out from her, my people, so that you are not partakers of her sins, and so that you do not receive of her calamity. Repentance is required. The children of Israel had to choose to leave Egypt. With Pharaoh, Yahweh showed himself strong through plagues and pestilences. But the problem is, you love Pharaoh, and you want to stay in the bondage that you are in. You love the darkness rather than the light. Egypt is in your heart. His word is his witness against you. He has sent both of his witnesses with this testimony, but you will not hear them. So instead of humbling a leader like Pharaoh into letting you go, he is going to humble you to cause you to consider what is truly in your heart. And if you will not be humbled into hearing that which his word says, what it declares, he is going to purge you from before his face. His will is going to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Satan and his rebellious crew are going to be bound and the one whom he gave his word to for a name is going to rule here with the rod of iron along with his temple that was built with his word. And all who do not want to live his will are going to be purged from the earth. Come out of her and flee from the soft cushions before the walls that were dubbed with untempered mortar come crashing down upon you. Thus saith Elohim.